Hey INFPs, it's Eric Thor here. In today's video, we're talking about how you can feel less lonely as an INFP. And the truth is, a lot of INFPs do struggle with loneliness. It can be hard for an INFP to connect with the outer world, to feel a relationship to other people, to feel a sense of shared connection and similarity with the world and the outer world. It can feel like you're different, like nobody understands you, and like nobody shares or experiences the way the world the way you do and so it can feel as an INFP as if it's better to just be alone because nobody is going to get you anyways and there is no point to doing anything. So as an INFP you probably know that how unfulfilling that answer is. You know that by isolating yourself you feel worse. So even if there is a tug to pull away from the world so as not to get misunderstood by it there is a feeling that you want to connect with the world and you want to be understood by the world. So the first thing you have to learn is that that is your quest. That is the quest that you have. Um, people are not immediately going to understand or get you and it's going to take time to form deep and meaningful friendships with other people. The first thing you want to learn is just uh, learning to first give value and in some ways you have to give value and you have to understand in order to be understood. So that's the first thing you'll have to notice that if you want to be understood by other people you have to make a genuine effort to sit with other people and to feel their experiences and their life and their relations and their struggles as if they were your own. So learning to nurture that FI empathy and learning to internalize and to experience other people's experiences and learning to see and connect with that is key. And if you're able to do that, if you're able to give value to other people, it's going to be a lot easier for other people to also give value to you. So in this way, you're nurturing connections with other people. Now, you might notice that not everyone is going to be responsive to this. There might be times when you opened up to other people and ultimately you ended up feeling judged. You ended up feeling like other people didn't hear you, didn't see you, didn't listen. So you're going to have to notice as well who are open to connect with you on this level. Not every single person you meet is going to have the capacity to understand you. Not every person in the world is meant for you and is meant to be your friend. Maybe it's different, it's a question of time and place and maybe it's a question of uh, development, but ultimately you have your own unique style and your own unique identity. So learning to connect with other people that you think might understand is also key. So learning also to find people who you feel a sense of relationship with and similarity with. Now you might notice that no other person, no one person will be able to be and to understand you in every single situation and there will be things that everyone will struggle with. So everyone has their own unique sensitivities and problems just as you have your own unique sensitivities and struggles. So learning to recognize that and to see where you hit and where you connect and where you diverge is also important in learning to be honest about that. You won't be able to find an ideal prince or princess that is going to 100% get you immediately and that is always going to be able to respond to you in the way you want to be responded to in that particular situation. Sometimes you'll feel a connection and sometimes you'll feel a disconnection. So also learning to be okay with that and to learn to manage that and to see uh, where you connect and where you diverge and to be able to talk about that and to be okay in that is important. That means learning to build up some stress resistance. If you know that that person that you're talking to can be really responsive and can be really empathetic to certain things in certain situations, even if they can't be empathetic in every situation and to every single situation or problem, well, then that stress of not feeling misunderstood or not feeling a connection can be worth it. So learning as well that there are people out there that they might take time, they might need time, they might need to process, they might need to uh, like think about it, they might need space sometimes, but learning that they are worth it and that they, these people are worthy of trust and are worthy of that time, that's important. Also, I think it's a question of finding the right friends. If you're an introvert, it can be hard to make friends because uh, it's hard enough to make that first step to connect with another person and talk to them and reach out. Uh, so. You might feel like you're stuck with the first few people that you meet that, uh, you know, like you, you go out and you talk to one person and it turns out they weren't worth the effort. They weren't, they, did, they didn't fit in your world. They didn't understand it. The differences were too many. So you give up and you return to yourself and you make no effort to reach out to anyone else. 
when you're an extrovert it's much easier to make those like quick connections and to talk to multiple different people so as an extrovert it's a lot easier to pick and choose and to say hey these are the few people that i'd like to invest time and effort into these of the ones that i met seem to have the most potential so as an infp i think it's very important to learn to go out and to uh, try to make more than one connection and more than a few connections because you're going to have to throw a few walls, <laughs> eggs at the wall, not a few walls at eggs. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to throw a few eggs at the walls uh, and you're going to have to notice where things land and what things land and which things don't. And also it's a question of just being in the right mental frame. So like I said, just remember you have to give value in order to get value. So if you uh, go to people and you talk about yourself and you go share your own experiences without having made an effort to listen to or hear or see them, uh, they're not going to have, a, they're not going to feel a sense of connection to you. They're going to feel like if this is a two way monologue. And so you're going to have to want to nurture mutual connection. And that comes from learning to be able to uh, share and relate and connect to other people's struggles and learning to listen attentively to what other people say and to point out and experience, express and uh, reflect on and talk about with other people their experiences. So um, try to give value and appreciation to the friends that you have in your life. Try to see them, try to listen and try to notice how they respond to that, you know, being seen, being heard, being understood. And try to notice if they are able to give that back to you as well. If you're able to mirror each other's, if you're able to take turns being the listener and the talker, being able to take turns being the person that connects and the person that is being connected with and learning how you're able to experience and reflect on that. Best of luck and let me know how it goes in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching.